Match. So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Alexander King Romanov. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here we are back inside Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is as loud and as knowledgeable a crowd as we'll experience really all year on the UFC World It's a great fighting market. The Bell Center is a fantastic venue. What type of performance are you going to give these great fans tonight? How clean is that jab by the Korean Super Bowl? Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing his shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Straight right is there. pace early on to this one. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. I think he's got it. It's deep. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth with submission defense wins this transition. Nice straight right lands. All right, so there it is. They immediately go into the clinch situation. The wrestler said he wanted to make it dirty against this boxer, and this is a good spot for him to be in. I think that even though he wanted to be in the clinch, he's got to be very aware of the punches in tight coming back from the boxer. He's got to be level changing. He's got to be tripping. He's got to make this boxer feel like he's on the defensive 
or that guy's gonna get comfortable rolling his shoulders and landing some nice tight punches from in close. They're so evenly matched and they're going to the cap. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being active. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, tanks him with the straight. Nice job there by Romano. Straight punch. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Nice uppercut. Great block there. Lands to the body. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing this whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice jab by Romanov. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively, this Great job defensively. He's seeing everything. And that one certainly found the target. Four strikes to the head. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Romanov gets tattooed by that straight punch. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground upon. In the half guard. Right into side control. Beautiful transition. Oh, he's got his back. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the ball there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, nice. Nice. Lands the kick to the body there. Counters with the straight right. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Final seconds here of round one. Second round, straight ahead. Okay, okay, sit down. Great, good patience out there, man. You did great. Your striking looks amazing. Keep your hands up and stay sharp. You're out working. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angle. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Pretty good head kick there. Nice uppercut on the inside there. Cannot take this many shots to the head. Connected with a solid strike there. It won't take many of those. 
All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take him out very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Ground and pound now, elbow to the body by Romanov. Making all these shots count. Great job landing the strike from his back. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Romanov gets caught with that punch. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Romanov. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by the Korean Super Bowl. And he's back up. So a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Romanov's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. He lands another punch to the head. The fighters separate. Another takedown land. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four-ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Oh, nice. Under a minute to go. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning. Romanov's going for a choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle. Oh, pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, great submission defense. All right, so a cool battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Final seconds here of round two. All right, single collar tie now. Two oh, rounds yeah. in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Alexander Romanov's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Oh, beautiful counter. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Counter punch landed there by Choi. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stick. Keep your hands up and keep that head moving. Head movement. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you gotta def you gotta defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping it. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get hit down there. You can't be you can't be too skinny. Nice kicks there by Choi. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And now the jab gets through. Nice body kick there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Alexander Romanov's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. He's got the single collar tie. Attack. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Distance management, one on one, another punch lands. Big reaction as he absorbs yet another body shot. And you see the referee maybe start to close the distance a little bit. This could be a TKO in short order. I mean, John, we love violence. I mean, that's why we love our job so much. We get to watch people hurt each other. But it's hard to watch this. Yeah. This guy is as tough as they come. But these body shots have really accumulated. And he is starting to take way too much damage. Big shot lands for both guys. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed as he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He's having his way with him here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter shot. defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. He gets to the single collar time. Look him to try to move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Lead left by Roman. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. That's three rounds.
Oh. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more Ready. of these shots, this fight Ready. is going to be stopped due to the swell. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango. And man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Gotta be careful here. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Choi. Change of the position. Inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice headlock. That guillotine is tight. Oh, and he's out. Nice elbow. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid... All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Troy's in half guard now. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Romanov's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight for the one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some type of submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Alexander Romanov's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. 
Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Under 20 seconds now to go. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Final seconds. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Go after the cut. End this fight. End Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, nice jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Big knee lands to the body. And now some knees. Pretty good series of knees by him there in DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Left eye starting to swell significantly now. Trying to get the knees going. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, rips the body shot there. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Choi's taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get there. You got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed from the top. It does not matter if you get the guard pass. You got to just start throwing up submissions and hope by causing action you can latch onto something to end the fight. Lead left by Romanov. Oh, good block there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice counter right hook there. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. And now some separation. Well, missed on that one. Tremendous toughness as he eats yet another body shot. This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corner's thinking about getting involved. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop this fight. This fight is over. Your fighter has been beaten. He's not going to win. Now it's about long-term damage. How do you avoid and allow for this guy to continue forward after this fight? Both fighters throwing heat now. And again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it 
Burns. Johnny Burns so bad. When you cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night. Back and forth on both sides, and referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed out. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion, or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There have been some bleak moments for both. Both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this last fight minute. Fight down. Fight down. Great punch from the clinch here. Oh, nice takedown defense. He kicked it over the head. Oh, 20 seconds to go in the fight. 15 seconds. Liver kick. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, the Ladies official decision is in. It resides rounds, with the venerable the Bruce judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started. Now let's see just how far he can take it. But tonight the celebration is on, undeniably. A huge